Hello, everyone. I'm Michelle Alva, and I'm here with sparkly, radiant Missy, Wild Woman <laughs> of Abundance. And I'm so grateful to have her on as a part of the Wild Women Speak series of interviews to all the past participants of the Wild Women of Abundance, which is really a movement. It's a movement for us to awaken ourselves that we are abundant, miraculous, supernatural beings that we can really truly harness and command our energy to continue to bring in love, which we are love, but to attract into our lives so much more than what we've, what we've been led to believe, I think from society and whatever our upbringing was. And really the Wow Women of Abundance came about in a dream after I did a meditation, I dozed off. I think I was waking up actually. And I dozed off and I just thought, what's my next program going to be, you know? And it's just like, wild woman of abundance, just like that wild woman of abundance. And I shared it with my mom and my mom's like, do you have to put the name wild? I'm like, yes, <laughs> wild just means to be free. And so many of us feel that we're in living in a cell, you know, that we can't really be who we are, or we're living for obligations because we want to make other people happy. For example, with my work, I've had people that they stay married for years and years and years for the children. And so maybe they would like to do something different or, or stay in a job for security. And so this is really about unleashing the fears, releasing the fears and transforming them into whatever we wish to create. And so <laughs> Missy is a physical therapist in California. She has her own thriving practice. And I would love it if you can share with us before Wild Woman of Abundance, how it benefit you, and then any wisdom that you want to share with the ladies or the viewers um, of how it, whatever it is that has transformed um, to be an inspiration to others that we can live a life abundantly rich in love. And I've heard about you and your husband. <laughs> You're allowed to share, 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 honey. Yes. So first, I want to say I am a wild woman of abundance, and I'm so happy to be able to share my experience with you guys because it truly, truly from the bottom of my heart has changed my life in more ways than I can say. Um, before I started the Wild Woman of Abundance, I was... I consider myself a pretty happy person all the time. Not all the time, but generally pretty happy. And I just wasn't. Um, this was probably about three months ago. And I just was feeling constantly overwhelmed, sad that I, you know, my daughter wasn't going to be in school and I'm, I'm feeling a lot of heavy energy from the world. And I just, I couldn't get out of this funk. And I was just feeling really sorry for myself. I started to notice old pains in my body coming back. And I'm like, how can this all be happening at once? And I started to almost have like a pity party. And I'm very, I, ha I in the past, had a really difficult time being vulnerable with people and asking for what I needed. And I have one friend who, no matter what I tell her or don't tell her, knows exactly what's going on with me. And so she said to me, she's like, you have to meet Michelle. And she sent it to me and I was like, I don't have time for another course, I can't do this. And so she just kept sending me the link to Wild Women of Abundance, like in my Instagram, on my text messages. I and that. finally I clicked on it. I was like, oh, and I clicked on it and looked and I saw your face, Michelle. And I was like, oh my God, I have, I have to know this person. I have to experience you. And um, you know, I was a physical therapist in the past also. Did and so when I, do that? Yeah, yeah. when I read that about you, I was like, oh, now the universe, I'm listening. <laughs> because everything that you are and everything about your energy is what I have always wanted to be in my practice. And so going into it, I was doing it for that reason. Like maybe I can transition my practice. Maybe this is the thing. And got so much more than that because it changed me as a mama, completely changed me as a mama. Um, it changed the way, whew, I wasn't going to get emotional, but I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it with the wild women of a, but you know, that's one thing if I can interject while you just breathe, right? Do the wild women of abundance is all about us 
exactly what Missy, and I was just crying before we did this interview, guys. <laughs> I just had a heartgasm. And so can you imagine a world where we all are raw and real and vulnerable and authentic and allow ourselves to speak from our hearts? How magical would it be if we don't have to pretend, we don't have to act like, we can just be? And so sometimes I think we're scared of being vulnerable and really showing our true feelings. Believe me, you know, when I am around certain people that I really like, I definitely have put a little fence, maybe big fence or a lock in front of my heart, you know, because of my past, that's something I'm still working on, being vulnerable. And so when we are really speaking from the heart, that's what we are. We are heart beings and so it feels so natural and so healing and imagine you know that's what i think is great too about the zoom classes with wow women is the group how yeah. we're feeding vulnerability we're, we're really ah, you know everybody's allowing their emotions and it, just for that one reason i'm so grateful to have created it because which i totally wasn't expecting it and that's something i wanted to work on was group vulnerability. So just as you were looking to shift your practice more inter, inter, integratively, mm -hmm. integrated medicine, mm -hmm. um, I was seeking group vulnerable practicing because so many women, they say, oh, you know, I'm not ready for a relationship or we attract unavailable emotional men, mm -hmm. but how do we practice being emotionally available, right? And so I really feel this is a great class for any woman who has a hard time opening up in friendships with women, yeah. opening up in general, whether it's with a man or a woman or yourself. Um, there's a lot of benefits to that. So it's specifically for you as a mom, because I know you have, your, Mia is five years old or? Uh, eight. eight. Eight years old. Yeah. yeah. How, how has Wild Woman of Abundance benefited you? I mean, she's been on some of our calls too. I love it. <laughs> In fact, last night I texted you because she had seen that I was texting you and she goes, ooh, that's your wild woman of abundance. <laughs> I said, yes, she is. She knows. That is just normal language in this house now because it's just, I use the language of teaching her how to flow her emotions and to feel them. And I sit with her in them instead of trying to say, like, shh, don't cry, don't. All of a sudden I realize how important it is that we flow them so they don't stick and stay. And so I feel like I'm a much... I can hold space for her a lot better. And it's really awesome because I see the shift in her where she feels more trusting to talk to me or to cry or to be angry. And we just, it's, it's awesome. You know, yeah, it's amazing what's coming up. You know, right this month is PCOS month, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I work a lot with women that have menstrual cramps that are very painful, fibroids, uh, endometriosis, infertility, and I, I have to say, I see a correlation so consistently. I don't know if you see the same where unprocessed emotions, when we don't express our feelings, we, we create stagnation physically. And I mean, I can't speak for everyone on the planet, but I have seen a pattern working for so many years, 23 years with people that I have never met a woman who's expressive and shares her emotions and has any of those diagnoses. Um, also fibromyalgia, that's another one where we hold and we keep it all inside. So it's so important for us to be vulnerable and share our feelings, whether it's talk to yourself in the mirror, if you're <laughs> nervous of sharing vulnerability with other people, um, because that's an exercise I, I learned in another class. And I know Louise Hay does a lot of that mirror work which is, well, she, you know, when she was, the teachings of her. And these are the things that I feel we all get to also hear each other's stories and, yes. and know that we're not alone. Yes. And so I'm so grateful that you got to be a part of it. I'm so grateful you're sharing with Mia and yes. all the space for her as a mother, that your daughter can be angry and have her emotions and she's not gonna be, shh, be quiet, stop crying. You know, that's what I had as a child. Me and too. I became a very rebellious, loud, stubborn girl that would just yell, you know, I was very angry as a child. Yeah. And somewhat as a, as a teen and an adult, <laughs> let's be, have to be honest, right? Yes. <laughs> but these are such amazing tools to learn as a woman because we are, our society doesn't necessarily 
support us cultivating every part of us. And so many of our gifts are in our fire. And yeah. we are just, we're just this amazing energy. It's so it's funny because I have a video on my YouTube channel of what, like when, when men call us crazy, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard that where, so I'm actually going to put the link to that video on the screen at the end, because yeah. that is a woman who has not been allowed to express her emotions. And of course you're going to go crazy or appear to be crazy because you get triggered left and right. All those unprocessed emotions have to go somewhere. And so what if we could all spend more time, of course, join the Wild Woman of Abundance, or just putting your hand on your chest and feeling your emotions more, mm -hmm. feeling what's coming up for you. And so I'm so grateful you're that type of physical therapist, you're that type of mom, you're that type of colleague of mine, and you're just such a treasure. And I'm so grateful that we continue on this path. We're here for you all. Ladies, if you want to learn more about the Wild Women of Abundance and the benefits of creating a virtual tribe, because that's really what we, what we are creating, of women that say yes to self-care first and meditating in the morning. I'm curious, um, how is the one-hour meditation in the morning? Yes. Then so if I, doing, what were you doing before that? Were you waking up and having a ritual? So I have been trying for many, many years. My husband has a very, very strong Kundalini practice. So he's up every morning practicing for an hour and a half without fail. And I constantly would say to myself, why is nothing landing on me? Why can't I be inspired to get up and do that? And so I would constantly judge myself. And so at first, I'll be totally honest, when I heard that we had to do a morning meditation, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but I did it the first day. and. I, it suddenly landed on me that I now get why he gets up in the morning because it shifted me. That mm -hmm. meditation shifted me. And when I did it, I showed up in my life as everything that I wanted to be, as opposed to kind of a halfway version of that. You know what I mean? Like I would, I would do, I do the meditation in the morning and then I just show up and I don't have to think about it. It's just all done. It's all programmed. Mm -hmm. And so it just feels very clearing. And so I will say, I, even though I was resistant, I won't miss it now. And if for some reason I oversleep, I do it every night before I go to sleep, I fall asleep to your voice. Mm -hmm. And so I know that even if I miss it in the morning, I can do it later in the day, or I do my E3 breath, mm -hmm. or I do my um, mindful shower, or something where I'm giving myself that time in the morning, and it shifts my entire day. No That's question. Awesome. Recently, um, I was waking up kind of feeling tired, and I, I started doing this, I wake up feeling mm -hmm. activated, energized, inspired, mm -hmm. clear, and focused. I wake up feeling Activated, energized, inspired, clear, and focused. And I love it. Um, it's so true how we can program our brain by just repeating whatever we want to create. Mm -hmm. It really is that simple, everyone. And in the Wow Women of Abundance, I ask everyone to write their declarations in one rule document. So all the women reveal all their declarations and then to record your voice. And you even recorded a video of yourself. So how was that for you to watch yourself and hear your voice? I'm curious. It was so hard because I think I shared with you in the beginning, I hate being videotaped. I hate being photographed. I just, I hate, in the past, yeah. I hated those things. Um, it just, I felt like I would just look at them or listen to them and the self-criticism was like so overwhelming that I couldn't, it just wasn't worth it to me. Now I listen to myself all the time, do the declarations. I feel like hearing my own vibration in a space where I can feel proud of that and inspired by it, just, it changes everything. Wow. Oh, That's cool. So it was a very powerful exercise for me, the declarations. It's so amazing how you can empower yourself, yourself mm -hmm. with the use of technology, right? <laughs> <laughs> and how we can use technology to our advantage, videoing yourself, recording your own voice. It really is powerful. So Reach out to us if you'd like to learn more about the Wild Woman of Abundance, the ABBA Method. Missy has her own practice in California, and she's offering amazing integrative healing services in, what was the city again? Calabasas. Calabasas. Yes. And she's going to very, very soon online also. So thank yes. you so much for this time, Missy. Is there thank anything you. else that you want to share? One last tip or one last 
take home for anybody that's wondering, should I join the wild woman or shouldn't I? I would say even if there's a part of you that's thinking that this is something that you need, listen to that part of you, that little voice that's saying, I need to be there. It will change your life. I can promise you that. So listen to that little voice in your heart because it's true. It'll change you. Thank you so much, Missy. And I, I just want to share, Missy's a very happy, healthy, honest, brilliant, smart woman. And she has an amazing man in her life. Because I have a lot of women that say, I don't have time to date, or I don't have time to, you know, I want to work on my business, or I want to do this or that. And so how has this benefit your relationship with your husband? Or what is, has he noticed anything? And yes. you're welcome to share how awesome he is too. <laughs> I, I am, I'm so, I'm very, very blessed. I'm with a very conscious man who has a strong practice of his own. And he actually inspired me to start to pay attention to myself more. And doing the Wild Woman of Abundance gave me all of these tools and these practices to make my self-care just as important. And it's made me um, love myself more, which makes me so much more to love. <laughs> and then, you know, just recognizing our sexual energy and our heart energy and all of these things just makes life way more juicy. I have to say it's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Thank you. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> and all the details are down below everyone. So just click, 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 click. Yes. I have all of Missy's information and the next Wild Woman of Abundance too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Missy. Love you. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Bye.